today's two minute is on terms for a dead body. But before I do those, I have to call out my British viewers. Why didn't you tell me that this is not good to do and that it's offensive? I didn't know I was flipping the bird to all of Great Britain. So I'm sorry for that. I'm going to, instead of doing my two minute, I'm going to just try and do two minutes. Or maybe not even use my hands at all, which is hard. So terms for a dead body. Um, this one I thought about because you see too often that they're used incorrectly on shows and, you know, um, these crime shows. So we've got deceased, the corpse, the carcass, the cadaver, the body, the remains, the stiff. Um, some of them, I think, are a little too sensationalized of words. So what we've always learned kind of in our business is cadavers are bodies that are donated to science. Those are the bodies that are used for medical purposes to um, try and find cures and to learn and to investigate in the body. You know, deceased or um, corpses are kind of what we are caring for if you're just talking about the body. Um, but it's more that we have the remains of somebody at the funeral home or we have the deceased in our care. So we talk about it more as a person than as the body's over there or um, the corpse is over there. I can't say I've ever used the term corpse when I've been working in the funeral home. So there are specific situations to use terms. Um, and if you're at a crime scene and someone's saying the stiff, they're not the most professional of people. So a lot of that is just Hollywood lingo. So don't believe that everybody talks like that when they're at a crime scene or taking care of a body. So these terms have different meanings for different situations, but they all mean a dead body.